Hello and welcome to this episode. To, we are in the early stages of ME CFS Awareness Month or Week or whatever it's going to be called. Day. What's that? May 12th or something. You know, the day that that nurse supposedly Florence Nightingale you know, she's the nurse that found modern nursing who everybody in the MECFS community somehow believes actually had MECFS, which she didn't. She had another condition that's actually well documented and known. But for some reason, a lot of chronic condition groups, MECFS is one of them, ME Action is notorious for it, have linked themselves to her birthday which is I believe it's May 12th well what happens for the next it's now April and for the next six weeks eight weeks it's gonna be non-stop every nut job is gonna be coming out of the woodwork I mean, when you go into some of these posts, when you go onto some of these websites, it's, what's wrong with these people? They look and they sound like absolute fools. Fundraising galore is going to occur, or attempt to fundraise question is how much of this money is actually going anywhere for any use you know we've been the ME community's biggest argument is we need funding we need funding we need funding well the truth of the matter is you can throw all the friggin funding at this you want but they don't want the truth to come out about what this condition really is. Even though this condition is somewhat pop, it's been documented what this condition is. It's a brain injury of the central nervous system caused by exposure to a form of virus as well as a form of viruses plus a form of chemical exposure. You know, they cross-contaminated. And society you know, Wall Street, governments, farmers, people, whatever. They really don't want the truth coming out. I mean, they're more than happy to keep this thing as quiet as they can be and, you know, make us all look like a bunch of damn idiots. You know, we're not good for business. You know, ironically, you see all these people developing this cancer these young people developing this new form of cancer. Kate, the future queen of England, is now battling cancer. And ironically, and I'm going to show something here, not on this video, but I'll do another video. There's actually a link between us and these cancers that young people are developing. And there's actually a common connection between them. You know, you're hearing about all these people developing colon cancer at a very young age, um, uterus cancers, um, colorectal cancers, and stomach cancers, and cancers of reproduction systems and stuff. You know, the connection between that and us is actually there. What you have is a condition that is not good for business. Just like CTE. CTE is the brain condition that was developed from impact, from impact sports. And just like with us, 
for cent for decades it was you know the professional leagues wanted nothing they didn't want to see the truth they denied the truth they de they demeaned the players for even suggesting such a thing and at the end of the day it was shown that the players were not mentally The problem was not a mental condition, but it was a physical condition. You might notice that I'm a little off today as well. But the NFL spent millions and millions and millions on research and saw nothing. You know, the conclusion kept coming back. We found nothing. Therefore, it's completely safe. There's no link whatsoever between having your head in a helmet get smacked and develop in CTE. And that was a conclusion. All the experts, all the concussion experts, all said the same thing. There's no connection whatsoever between what these players are claiming and playing professional impact sports. Well, it just so happens there was this one doctor who was a pathologist, by the way, and he was working on the deceased body of former center of the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers and Kansas City Chiefs by the name of Mike Webster. And if you've ever seen the movie um, Concussion with Will Smith, that's what it's about, that movie. And I believe that Bennett Amalu spent about $20,000 of his own money and he confirmed CTE. He proved CTE for about $20,000. So when we are spending, you know, and yet the NFL spent millions and, and proved nothing because they didn't want to see anything. Why are we spending millions for MECFS research? And getting the same results that the NFL got. Because the fact of the matter is, we really don't want to see the truth. Society doesn't want to see the truth. Because the truth is not good for your 401k. Yet, believe it or not, all we have to do is remove a certain element chemical from the environment not immediately but over time gradually phase it out replace it with something not so devastating and the people that are sick are sick we can we can't cure MECFS but we can in the future prevent it from happening That's what I'm going to name this video. MECFS is preventable. I'm going on record and saying that because like I've said in the past, we can replicate this condition. Therefore, if we can replicate a condition, we know we can prevent a condition as well. But because the chemical is in the, in the environment, we really can't just stop it immediately. I mean, it's going to take a little bit because the chemical involved, which is called an, which is an organophosphate based chemical, which is a nerve agent that was developed during World War II. Well, it was developed before that, but it was weaponized in World War II. That chemical plays such a significant role in this entire world's economy. You can't just pull it out of service. It's kind of like saying, okay, we got to just shut the internet off tomorrow. We can't do that. You got to gradually work it down. You know, we can't just shut off the gas pumps and all go electric tomorrow because it doesn't work like that. We got to be reasonable people. I'm a reasonable person. At least I try to be. But as time goes on, there is alternatives for us to use other chemicals that do not have the same effect that organophosphate does on the blood-brain barrier. And ironically, it's that same chemical result 
that we're seeing with these young people developing cancer. When you take organophosphate and you inhale it, it coats your blood-brain barrier and it works like a solvent. It allows toxins in your blood to penetrate through the blood-brain barrier and get into your central nervous system. It's then ex expelled when you go to the bathroom over time. The problem is you keep getting more doses of organophosphate every few days. You've heard of leaky gut syndrome. Well, organophosphate does the same thing. It makes your body's protective inner, the internal areas of your body that should be protected, it makes them able to seep. The blood-brain barrier, your gut, all that stuff has the ability to basically become porous instead of protection. And organophosphate is the underlying component that creates this effect. You know, this is how we solve problems. We just discuss it like human beings. We discuss it in a reasonable way. We hopefully explain things in a way that's useful. But we can throw money all we want. We can hold up signs. We can, you know, wheel ourselves around in wheelchairs that we bought off Amazon. We can self-identify as, you know, being disabled. Or we can have a, we can have a reasonable discussion. You know, people that watch my videos, whether they know it or not, actually who watch more than a minute or two of them, there's a lot of information that you never hear in the MECFS community or by the MECFS experts. Whenever I finish a video, I always say, don't ever believe what this idiot on the internet is telling you. It's up to you, the individual, to do your own homework and validate. You know, everything that I know about this condition and, and chemistry and so on is public information. There's no secrets. But you, the individual, have to go out and, and gather that information by asking questions. You know, that's how I, I've been sick. I didn't learn about MECFS by watching Facebook groups because they weren't around at the time. Just like I didn't learn about Tourette syndrome, which I have by, by watching TikTok videos. I've been sick a long time. I've had Tourette since I was five years old, which would be what, 1973? So when I became sick and neurologists were involved and I saw their pattern of behavior, I, I was pretty comfortable with what I was working with here. Um, you know, like a lot of you, I wasn't believed, but I wasn't believed as a five-year-old either with Tourette syndrome and they got it wrong. You know, it was actually a television show that proved to the world what Tourette syndrome was. And mo many of us who grew up in the seventies and early eighties, we owe that television show Quincy ME, um, much gratitude because that actually proved to the world we were telling the, the truth. So just know that there's going to be a lot this month about people trying to convince you to give money, give money, give money. But the fact is, all we really need is a video like this that generally explains things to get in the right hands. You know, I have, what, 130-something videos out there. I got two views in the last 48 hours. You know, my average viewership is five views every five or eight views every 48 hours. 
so my content isn't getting a lot of action and a lot of this has to do with the fact that so many people have blocked me you know when you have negative reviews when you have blocking going on your content has a tendency to be suppressed yet after I'm gone you know after I'm long gone society is going to be able to go back and watch these videos and realize there was a lot of useful content in them but the content was ignored because of politics because of wokeness I have nothing to gain by these videos I'm already sick it's not like I'm going to get better my hope is that in the future people will not become sick from a preventable condition MECFS is very preventable but just like with COVID there's really nothing you can do to prevent it as long as the risk exists out there so what we need to do is get these chemicals you know eventually banned and blocked and replaced with things that don't have solvent type reactions on the on the human body well i'm at about 17 minutes so i'm gonna let you go think about things you know do what you can keep your brain focused you know avoid the drugs i can't stress that enough you got to learn how to manage this condition and it's hard to do that when you're strung out Okay, till next time, take care.